I'm throwing things at you. <laughs> 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 I got selected for the team early in 2018, so just over a year. In my category, all the competitors are blindfolded, which means that when I'm training indoors, I always put a blindfold on. Um, I, when I got selected for the team, I realised I'd probably better do some training and take things a bit more seriously. So I went from you know climbing at the wall once a week and you know putting in probably six times a week, something like that, and you get a load stronger. Um, you want to drop all your weight. Underneath. I think one of the things that was a big change was when I realised that if I compared myself to people who could see the same amount as me. I was actually quite good. Before I was comparing myself to sighted climbers and you know, I was doing okay, but you know, I wasn't setting the world alight. So and I think that's the big change, just what, what you compare yourself to. Jesse! Jesse! <laughs> no, that's just a little bit too hard. It's a bit of a maze around here. Obviously everyone's all really, really different and we all find different stuff difficult. You know, obviously for me, dinos are a big no-no. Go to someone like Martin, and like he loves dinos and absolutely hates bridging. And Hannah hates stuff that's vertical because it's really hard. Her, her one calf gets absolutely pumped out of its mind, and you know, there's just a real range of things that we find difficult. But I think there's a real positive attitude in the team. I guess we're all unified in the fact that we find something hard compared to most people, and it's just about how we deal with that and the mental approach. I think that's infectious. Um, I'm Hannah Baldwin, an RP2 power climber, and I, me and Jesse, we are like brother and sister. He's my big bro, and I'm his little sister. Yeah. yeah. So it's only a couple of inches. Yeah. Yeah. It's quite good for a little person. It's, quite it's not a case of like, why can't he lead trad? It's just a case of Jesse just leads trad. <laughs> Obviously, the the day-to-day -day tasks are more challenging than actually climbing for him, and I I know for where where he's coming from on all that stuff. It, it, it's just in his character to just do what people think is impossible to do, I guess, uh, which I am very drawn to because it's, it's similar to me. Nice. That's nice. That's what good. do you think? Yeah, good. Easy. Yeah, it's pretty reasonably straightforward. I'm not that pumped. You're just saying like the, the avoidance of all the holes is yeah, really hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of like maybe 30% pump on that, something like that. Can I imagine trad climbing any of the routes that Jesse has just done? No. I think I'd be scared shitless, to be honest. Yeah, uh, and the other say, so, uh, for the first three... It's interesting, so when he first came to the competition scene, it was very new for, for him. He was definitely a step below the, the, uh, the top athletes, for sure. It was really noticeable. This year, having just had IMPS, which is the Paraclimbing Masters, uh, it's, it's incredible to see the fact that he stepped up to, the, uh, to be completely competitive on the podium. 78. So, that so I say this every time I coach just gen the general public, like my clients, and kids specifically, and I'm guilty of it too. We'll use excuses of I'm too tall, I'm too heavy, I'm too small. And you hear these comments, and it's all the time. And then these guys, you work with them, and like you said, I don't like using the word disabilities because ultimately I don't see any here. They never complain. They, their disabilities never get in the way. And that's a lesson that everybody can take, not just climbers, everybody in life. And we look for excuses all the time. Uh, and these guys just don't, do not do that. It's inspired me hugely. It's changed my life, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>